opened up their season in Toronto and one big glaring issue was the fact that they couldn't slow down those transition goals. Last week in Calgary, they tightened up the D a bit, but they still gave up a lot of transition goals, about four. I talked Buffalo to Buffalo will cover the spread against Cincinnati here. No, I think the Bengals are going to be covering the spread against the Bills. Now, I know this line has moved a lot, and a lot of people are talking about the O-line issues for the Bengals. Their left tackle, Jonah Williams, will be out. But let's just remember, this isn't a Bengals team where we've been talking about their O-line all year long. Joe Burrow has taken a lot of sacks all year you. long. I think Curtis, it was the stadium showdown, but it was also the Curtis Dixon show. What was working so well for you today? I think our offense was... Well, if you asked around the league who the best goalie was, Christian Del Bianco's name would definitely come. I had a chance to speak with Christian earlier this week, and he told me the reality of being a goalie in the NLL is nobody cares what he did yesterday. The one thing that disrespected here as less than a field goal favorite. I don't think they're being disrespected. I think people just don't trust them. And there's a reason for that, right? When you take a look at Dak Prescott, I mean, he's tied for league lead in interceptions with Davis Mills from Houston. I think we expected that from Davis Mills and the Houston Texans, but I don't think we expected that from a guy like Dak Prescott. And also the way they finish off the season playing against Washington, that was an absolute dud. It kind of made me question why they even, you know, went with their starters in that game. But Dane, I thought it was Curtis's first game back at this barn, but you've been doing it all tonight. Six goals. You're also killing it on the PK, on the power play. What is it about playing against your former team? You know, it's a great it's place to play. It's the Dallas Cowboys and New York Giants on Monday Night Football. So I've got a same game parlay for you to either tail or fade. For the first leg, the Dallas Cowboys are one-point dogs. And I got to roll with the dog tonight. They were able to get it done in week two against Cincy. And Cooper Rush, all he has to do is not turn over the ball. Dallas also played really good defense and ran the ball. I expect the same from them here tonight. Also, Parsons, I think he's going to give that Giants O-line yeah, not only is it the first ever outdoor game in league history, it's also the largest production. 13 cameras a jib and the most exciting one that I think, the spider cam. What this is going to show you is how fast the game really is, how physical it is, how intense it is. Also, we've got more for you. Both coaches are mic'd up. Westberg of San Diego has Marty a combined six goals in the first half. Did you guys expect this one to be a defensive battle? Yeah, we knew it would be a battle. I think hey, we have what's to. up? Welcome to Quick Picks. I'm your host, Chantel Chant, and today we're talking UFC 273. Pick number one, Alexander Volkanovsky by TKO at plus 240. Alexander Volkanovsky is the best featherweight in the world, and there's a reason why he's the champ. In his last fight, he fought Brian Ortega and destroyed him, winning by unanimous Warriors. decision. As for their road struggles, I mean, they're like 7-26 and 26 on the road. That's the exact same record that the Detroit Pistons have on the road. So that can tell you that they're borderline trash on the road, if we're just being honest here. And you take a look at the Golden State Warriors. I think they have this feeling where they can just turn it on at any given moment. But I do think the fact that Andrew Wiggins not with the team right now, that's going to be a factor as they lead into the playoffs. Defensively, I well, the first one was Patrick Mahomes because he's going to be healthier in this one than he was in the AFC Championship game. Also, in that AFC Championship game, he threw for over 300 yards. His over under four passing yards is set to 292 and a half. I like the over there because if the Kansas City Chiefs want to win, we're going to have to see Patrick Mahomes sling it. So I like the over there. I also like the over on receiving yards for AJ Brown. Now, he didn't have the